Hey, yo, what's up, guys? This is your big homie, Big Mike, checking in. Real Talk TV. I hey, hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for tuning into the video. I appreciate it. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday uh, with your families and you really enjoyed it. Um, hope you had some good food. You know what I'm saying? Enjoyed your loved ones and whatnot. And I wish you guys nothing but peace, prosperity, and blessings coming into the new year. Just want you guys to be safe out there. You know what I'm saying? And take care. And let's get it. 2023 is kind of crazy how fast 2022 went by, man. It's like we blinked twice and boom, 2022 was almost over just like that, which is a constant reminder that, man, time ain't waiting on no man, bro. These years are going by. These years are going by, man. It's crazy. But anyway, let me get into the topic, man. I want to talk to you guys about something that I had to realize as I grew older in life. And perhaps this can like resonate with a lot of you young people who are just now figuring things out for the first time in your life. Or you don't have as much as uh, as much experience as someone like myself or older than me. And that's this, man. When it comes to trust and the people in your life, I'm going to take hey, straight up. You got to learn to trust people for who they are. Trust them for who they are. A lot of times we run off with this notion that, oh, I don't trust anybody. It's hard to trust people, blah, 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 blah. That takes far too much energy not to trust people, man. Now, I know, granted, a lot of us have been hurt, we've been mistreated, we've been betrayed and whatnot, and naturally, you're going to be more inclined to just not trust people from jump because you don't want to get hurt again. You're guarded, right? But trust people to be who they are. That's all you really can do. Because as you go through life, man, people are going to be exactly who they are. It's just up to you to recognize it when you see it. When you see, like, for instance, like me, me and myself, I used to, like, walk around with that, you know, mentality that I'm just not going to trust anybody. Anybody is suspect. Everybody's suspect, right? But that's not the way to go about life because you can sabotage so many possibly good relationships by having that mindset of not trusting anybody. So say, for instance, you know, you got a friend that betrayed you. Now you can't make any friends because of what this friend did to you. Or you had a boyfriend that did you wrong. Now the next boyfriend got to pay for what the last boyfriend did or a girlfriend. You make your uh, current girlfriend pay for what your last girlfriend did to you, which is no healthy way to go about life. And that's something I had to learn, man. That's not healthy, right? So best thing to do, trust people to be exactly who they are. And that includes your family. I don't care who they are. Trust them to be exactly who they are. If they're a thief and you know they steal, trust them to be exactly that. <laughs> if they're a liar and they lying to you, don't be surprised. You know that about them already. Trust them to be exactly that. If they are a cheater, don't act like you're surprised if they do it again. You already knew that they cheated because they did it to you already. Trust them to be exactly who they are. Trust them to be exactly who they are. Once people show you who they are, you categorize them. Now you already know, hey, I might care about this person. I might love this person. They already know. I can't trust them but this far. Or I can't trust this person but that far. Oh, I can't trust this person over here at all. Some people you just can't trust at all. There's some there's some people you just can't trust in certain situations. And like I said just now, that also includes your family. You know, if you know your uncle, your auntie, your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, they're nothing but a bunch of lying, conniving thieves. You know exactly who they are. Trust them to be who they are and stop you know, either number one, placing such high expectations on people because people will disappoint you every time or walking around with the mentality of not trusting anybody, which can, like I say, cancel out so many possibly good relationships because you walk around with that. I don't trust anybody mindset, which is no healthy way to go about life. So start everybody off in a clean slate. And that's how I go about it now. You know, once I meet a person, no matter who it is, in my mind, that person's never done anything wrong to me. So why treat them as though I don't trust them already? Now, I'm always watchful. Don't get it twisted now. I'm always watchful. But once you show me something about yourself that I realize, okay, this is who that person is, then I know what I know how to categorize them. And when it goes to people in your life, man, also, I'm going to say this last piece and I'm getting on up out of here. When it comes to people in your life, man, a lot of times we, we like to say that, oh, this person may have shocked me by what they did. And sometimes that is the case. Sometimes it may be the case. Sometimes people can just suddenly turn on you or do something to you that you didn't expect, which just sabotages your your uh, 
perception of that person. But a lot of times, not all the time, but a lot of times when people do things, we are blind to see it because of, of our relationship with them. If they're a family, if they're your boyfriend, girlfriend, or longtime friend, we overlook these things because of our love for them. We are blinded. But a lot of times when that person has betrayed you or done you wrong in some type of way, when you look back on it, because hindsight's always 2020, when you look back on it, you can say, damn, I should have seen this coming. Now everything makes sense to you. When that girlfriend that cheated on you was suddenly not answering your calls, not returning your texts or returning your texts five hours later, X, Y, and Z, now all of a sudden she's too busy. And then you come to realize that after you find out this person, what this person's been doing, then you look back and say, now it all makes sense. Now it all makes sense. A lot of times we are blinded by our relationship with people and our feelings for them. And that's something that we got to stop doing. Take people who they are. Once somebody shows you who they are, believe it. They ain't lying to you. The actions tell you everything you need to know. Actions don't lie. People lie out their mouth. But the actions, they don't lie. So take people for who they are, man. I don't care who it is. Once that person shows you who they are, you place them in a the category. You can only trust them this much. You're going to trust them to this point, or you can't trust them at all. Or you can trust this person with your life, which is a very few pe a very few people and rare people that you uh, meet in your life that you can trust that much. But they are out there. It's just hard to find. But that's just life, man. That's how it is. Trust people to be exactly who they are. If they're a liar, they're going to lie. If they steal, and you know them to steal, they're going to steal. Stop acting like you're surprised when these things happen. You been saw this stuff. But like I said already, a lot of times we are blinded by love and our affection to, uh, for the person. We are blinded by that. So it may not enable us to see everything that we should have seen with that person a long time ago. But it all makes sense in the end when that relationship has failed or you finally cut that person off and you look back on it and say, wow, I should have seen this coming a long time ago. Or everything that they've been doing up until that point, now it all, all of a sudden makes sense. But yeah, man, trust them to be exactly who they are. And stop walking around with this mindset of, well, I don't trust anybody. Because then the, everybody out there ain't bad people. Not everybody. Yeah, the world is all messed up and people out there are messed up. But that's not everybody. Start off everybody on the clean slate. And once they show you something which would cause you to think otherwise, then yeah, you already know where to place them. Or get going. But yeah, man, that's all I got on the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, man. And if uh, you guys uh, enjoyed the video, please hit that like button for your boy. Don't forget to subscribe if you ain't subscribed already, if you choose to do so. And uh, yeah, hit me up in the comments, man. Show me you guys' stories. I love to read them, all right? But again, I wish you guys a happy new year. Y'all be safe out there. Be blessed, man. Let's crush our goals for this year, 2023. And yeah, like I said, time ain't waiting on nobody, man. So let's go out there and get it, y'all. Time ain't waiting on nobody, all right? But until next time, y'all be blessed. I'm out. I love y'all. Be homie Big Mike checking out, man. Peace.